Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about Make. All Make really is is a simple build automation tool that you guys can use to turn a long command such as this into a shorter command such as this, just by adding a simple file called a Make file in the same directory. Versions of Make exist for Unix, BSD, Linux, Mac OS, and even Windows. One of the greatest things about Make is it allows you to take one smaller part of your program that has changed and compile it individually and then compile your entire code base all together without having to do each individual part. Speaking of make, it would make my day if you guys liked this video and subscribe for more content like this. Without any more delays, let's get right into it. So this is just a really general make file guys and you can look around in it and you'll kind of just see that comments are pound symbols. And then the way that the make file is formatted is you do bit your target and then your colon, and then there would be a dependency, but in this case we have no dependencies, and then a tab, and then the command. So here we're just echoing a string into tester.txt. Now we can execute this make file simply by just running the command make. And you'll see that it simply just runs that command from before, so it echoes our string into our text file. And so now if I just uh, open that text file, you'll see that it has that line of text that we were hoping to see. So that's perfect. That's just like what we were expecting. And now let's go over those dependencies like I mentioned before. So first we have our target, which is tester2.txt, and it depends on tester.txt. So we need tester.txt to be compiled before tester2 can exist. And tester.txt basically just runs the command echo, this is a test, and then remember the formatting, we do colon, and then tab, and then our command. And so now to create tester2.txt, we take tester.txt, and then we cat it into tester2.txt. So now if I run make, you'll see that right here it echoes, um, echoes our string into tester.txt, and then cats tester.txt into tester2.txt. Even though I didn't specifically tell it that it needs to do this first, it knows to do that because it is a dependency. So now let's go over macros, which can be thought of kind of like variables in other languages, but with some special little changes. Our first macro is called TMP, which is uh, set to tester1.txt. And then our second macro right here is set to tester2.txt. You'll see that I'm basically just taking output, which is tester2.txt and requiring TMP to create it, which is tester1.txt. We're basically repeating what we did in the last make file, without having to type out tester1.txt in every single one of these. We can just use TMP. And as you guys can see, macros are just expanded with a dollar sign and uh, rounded braces around it. We're gonna go a bit further into using macros. So here I actually used, I set one macro equal to two separate macros. So here we have tester and tester1, and then depths, is set to both tester and tester1. And then output is still tester2. And then just like before, make will figure out how to compile this properly. So depths is multiple dependencies. So it will uh, create this one, and then this one, and then it will use that to give us our output. So let's just make that. And you'll see, creates tester, then tester1, and then it creates tester2. Now we're on to one of the really cool features that comes with make, and that is inference rules. So basically what inference rules can be used for is a generic way to convert different files between each other, uh, or different formats of files, I guess I should say. And so in this case, I'm basically gonna be converting a TMP file into a TXT file. So basically how that works is you're gonna do dot suffixes, which tells make what kind of suffixes can be used with inference rules. And in this case, I'm using dot TMP and dot TXT. Since we're converting a dot TMP file into a dot TXT file, don't worry, uh, order doesn't matter. These are really just a list so that way make knows what it's dealing with. And then what I'm using is I'm running uh, as a target, I'm doing final. Um, a lot of people like to use all as a generic target, but Basically, all that it is, is it just tells it a prerequisite that to that it needs to create. This prerequisite is tester.txt. In order to create this txt file, make will use this inference rule to create it. So if I do ls, 
you'll see that there is a tester.tmp file in this same directory. So now if I run make, it will use this make command right here on the actual files. So watching this, you'll see that it's tester.tmp, which is what we use here. So this is where the .tmp comes from. The .txt here is then used in our output. And so the way that it knows what the input and the output are is it uses these special variables. So here, dollar sign less than symbol is used as our input and then dollar sign at symbol is our output. If we want just the uh, file's name without its extension, so in this case tester, all we use is dollar sign and then uh, star. So just to give you guys a better understanding of this, let's do dollar sign star dot txt. And so now in this case, now that I have replaced the uh, dollar sign at symbol with, with this, if I run make, you'll see that we get the same thing because it knows to use the dot txt. So if I do this without that, if I run make, it will actually cat tester.tmp into tester. So now this is uh, another really cool feature that you get with make that is the ability to add additional commands that you can run along with make. So one of the most common ones is make clean. So in this case, if I do um, make, it's this whole entire section right here is really just reproducing what we had in the last file. But now we have this clean option. So right here, we're catting into our txt file. So now we've created our txt file. But now say we've edited our make file or something like that, and we just want to remove the txt file. Well, what we can do is we can do make clean and run that. And then what that does is it actually runs the command from our clean target. And so basically we're doing make and then giving it a target and then it will basically try and build that target, which in this case just runs rm star.txt. And now we have no txt file, so we can run make once again. And now tester.txt is created. And just like before, make clean removes it. And another fake target that's often used by people is install. And then it would usually like copy a file to slash user slash local slash bin or some other directory, uh, basically installing it on your computer and then maybe like uninstall. It's another one that's often used. Um, let me think of other ones. There's plenty of other ones that you guys can use. Test is another one for test it, running tests on your program. There's plenty of things you guys can do be experimental, try out new things. Let me know what you guys come up with. Maybe you've come up with something that no one else has thought of. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell icon down there to see more videos like this one.